Hello, hello everyone. We are back for more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. On the last episode, we get two bananas of the 25 bananas of uh, Creepy Castle, and we get two blueprints: one for Diddy Kong, another one. Don't hit me when I'm speaking, please. And. Uh, order for Donkey Kong. No, <laughs> sorry. One for Donkey Kong, order for Diddy Kong. Okay. And on this episode, we are entering on that red graveyard or whatever it is. It is catacombs or whatever. So, anyway, uh, I don't know which side is for Donkey Kong, but I will sure find it. So, anyway, uh, now let me think of something to talk about. Uh, last time I was talking about how hard it is for some person to um, speak uh, something that is not on, on her or, or his language or whatever, or it language or whatever. And for that, it, I concern with whatever one, you know. If you try to speak Portuguese, and you find this a little bit difficult, I will concern for you because I know how you feel, you know, trying to express yourself for someone else, you know. Because when you learn a second language, it's not just because you like that language, you also want to talk about with that person, or you want to express yourself into a different way, not the usual way that you do, because that will be. You know, there's some persons that can do that naturally, and I total, totally understand that. But, you know, you feel those persons that is not from your country who have a different ascent. And, uh, banana metal, okay. So, uh, and also. Okay, what was my point? Yeah. <laughs> I, lo I lost the point here, so. Anyway. Uh, and yeah, basically start. I don't gonna get more on that. You know, it sounds like I'm complaining about my English again. And I said to myself that I wouldn't do that anymore. You know, I would speak, and if I made a mistake, I made a mistake. So anyway, uh, what I should push here first? Okay, I'm a kind. I'm rather confused. I high confused here, I'm really confused. Anyway. That one I push it and get the chalk head. So I'm supposed to push this one over here. Okay guys, I, I'm going to do that more this part more like a walkthrough because I have to I take a shock. But it seems there is market there so on the shirt at there so can you die and stay dad? Can you die and stay dead? Yeah, it does do. Definitely. So I push the lever here. I gave. So it seems that. Uh, oh, I. I didn't intend to push that one. Uh, nah. Mosquito entering my eye. That. Uh, that's. Does not help. Although there we are at the winter, and the winter started today, by the way. I actually started yesterday, but I count it as the first day of winter. Anyway, uh... Can you stop to hit? Thank you. Die. And give me a melon. Okay, let's... Let's push that again. Yeah. Because yeah, I don't feel like that was a shock, because... The other level is still push it. I push that one because I believe that the shards are inverted. Nope. Let's try everything again. Let's push this, this one. And the guy of red revive, really? Don't kick me! I said for you, don't do that. Ugh. This game drives me crazy sometimes. So, okay, this one, this one. 
This one should do it. So I don't know what expected from it. I mean, I kind of remember some stuff from T stage, but I don't remember all. As I said before, after 60 yesterday, I don't play the game, so it's kind of you know, it's kind of with a mist on the way, you know, for between your memories and your mind, basically like that, I don't know. No, you're to we're you're totally rusty if I don't do something for for six years, you know. I still I still f find it funny the name of that of that board over there being Squawk. Because Squawk is uh the number that you you put on, on your transponder on the airplane so you can give the information uh for Ted Airport. No, each country have a specific follow a specific squawk, you know, follow one of those. So, and but a uh, universal squawk that I know is seven seven zero zero. That means emergence. So <laughs> basically, that's the first one that you learn, I believe, you know, when you're, when you're doing that. You know, the first thing that you learn. Um. Uh, the other thing that you're learning is the phonem alpha, the phonetic alphabet. Basically, there's Donkey Kong here, so his name would be like Delta Oscar November Kilo Echo Young. That's how would be the name of Donkey Kong. Delta Oscar November Kilo Echo Young. Basically, that's the that's the uh, phonetic alphabet of each letter of Donkey Kong. Yeah, we do that, and you have to learn that. Now I learned half. I I believe that I learned seventy five percent of it. So you know, it's not hard. You know, I still think it's funny that F is Foxtrot. I don't know if I think that's so funny. It's just funny. Uh, so I know alpha. I know it's easy to learn that, you know. Just get the first letter of the word and you will know what letter I'm talking about. So I have alpha, bravo, charlie, delta, echo, foxtrot, g's, golf, uh, age I forgot, is inja, I believe. J I forgot. Uh, L is Lima. K is Kilo. M I forgot. N is November. O is Oscar. Uh, P I forgot. Basically, I forgot most of the the final ones. Basically, uh, so let's see. Uh, P, I don't know, it is death jack. I, I try to remember the alphabet, that's something really serious. Okay, so, I don't know, the next one is R. R is Romeo, okay, I remember J, J is uh, Juliet, yeah, J is Juliet. J is Juliet, yeah, because R is Rom uh, Romeo. S is Sienna. Q I forgot. T is Tango. Um, uh, you, you've seen that I'm trying to don't go back to my accent. You know, you can see that. Uh, you, I believe that is uniform. Uh, a T U. V? <laughs> v I don't remember. What the hell? The guy just take everything of me when I was trying to remember V. Apparently there is not a letter that he like. So V... W... I believe is, that is whiskey. Uh, then come X. X I forgot. Uh, y is Yunk. And Z is Zulu. So. You can see uh, I still a couple to learn, you know, I learned most of them. And I'm uh, trying to bring my memory why I'm into a car, it's just not good. 
you can tell that is, I was forcing myself to remember why I was concentrating inside that card. Anyway, the mind card or whatever. So it's avoiding Tad. At least I'm around the world too. I was, you know, on Tad, recognizing ground. Uh, talking about recognizing ground, I just hit at the grave. Okay, I didn't get that one. So anyway, uh, so getting most of them is very important, very, very important for you to do. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking right now. You know, I run out of comment. I run out of commentary. You know, commentary to talk about, and then I run out. Ah, stop that. And then I run out. And then I, I think something to talk about. Then I run out again, and then think again. Uh, you know, you can tell that it would be really, really fun to do that commentary when you don't. Ah, I missed that coin over there. So let's get a lot of coins because on this way we'll save our asses and get the banana. No, I don't know if I talk about that yet. This game I have a 201 bananas. And yeah, 201 bananas sounds really, uh, really random if you ask me. But yeah, it's 201. Uh, is the you have 200 normal bananas and a special one for collect for collecting all the fairies, the banana fairies. Yeah, you talked that I would get a, a banana fairy for that. Uh, yeah. I probably will do bonus episodes back when I come back from the U.S. Ah, and showing what you get from that. Basically, forget the uh, the twenty uh, fairies. You get infinite on everything. You can get a sheet for you have infinite on everything. Ammo, orange, music notes, everything. <laughs> anyway, talking about cheating, I I just lose some coins because of that. Okay, so I recovered that, and here we we'll pass for the hardest part right now, I believe. Oh no, we're going for it. I. Okay. Oh no, we passed, we passed. Okay, the. Oh no, we're going for it. Yeah, I was right. I was trying to think that. Of, trying to see if we pass that place over there. You know, this place over here. Anyway. Because, you know, the night of the Halloween, you have Crypt Tales. I just take that one from Jack64, you know, I know that's supposed to be Halloween, I believe that's from Halloween, you know, uh, you know, that thing that happened on, um, uh, Friday, Friday 13th, no, you're not gonna take all my coins like you did that last time, you whore, anyway. So we did get 26 and we pretty much will win. Because he won't appear any longer so anyway. Yeah, it does this game Jack 64 I have it. But he always have a quota for a movie. Like for example on Tad is technology uh technology stage he say like um Shatter all the trash smash on the detention level, you know, that's Star Wars for you, Death. Well, it has Final Hope, yeah. The New Hope, sorry. New Hope, I. Uh, <laughs> the Final Hope, what, what I was thinking, to another title, a new title for Star Wars 4, you know. Probably just for he for listening to that, people will go like ape shit on it. Anyway. Um, yeah, so. We're doing our way to get all the bananas, you know. We're really close to that. Although that he, it's feel like we're getting at the end of the game, you know, and we're pretty much, uh, pretty much tired of collecting every single banana of the game. I don't know it's on the other side, okay. 
And yeah. And you get something special for Ted. For all your trouble. Something for your laugh a little bit. So you can expect him what is, what is coming. So anyway. Not for spoil. No, it's really funny. Uh, I won't speak throughout that so you can have your thoughts about that thing. You know. It's really funny. Anyway. So, yeah. Mm. Trying to think of something to talk about here. So. You might know that uh, uh, Diddy Kong have a spin off of a, of a race game, you know, Diddy Kong Racing. It's a really fun game, actually. <laughs> uh, despite being a, a what you would call a ripoff of Mario Kart, it's a really good game. That I can tell. It's a really fun. Uh, I, uh, after releasing Drumstick, I go with him throughout throughout the whole thing. I don't know if I ever will do a Diddy Kong Racing uh, in LOP. Because you have the normal tracks and the, the special tracks that are inverted and the guys are hellish there. So yeah, because there's the easy mode, there's the inverted hard mode basically. That's how they do their, you know, because, you know, like there they, they have uh, balloons that you have to collect to have like 52 of them. You, know, you have basically to do the tracks at least three times, basically like Mario Kart on Tata to get the the, the extra mode of Diddy Kong race if you can call like that. They just say adventure number two. You know, that's what they they put as the title. And yeah. What I was talking right on when I started the last episode, I was talking about Luigi's Mansion. The video to the watch, and you know there was some codos there that that I could that I could see. You know, like there was that Simpsons photo that they did there when Bart is all the. I believe that was Bart that was on the basement. So when Homer was going down through the staircases, uh, he turned out he turned on the light. And so Bart uh, turned that off again, right when he was in front of Bart and he could press the switch um, for turn on the light again instead of go all the way up, uh, go all the way up to turn it on again, you know, that's how Homer is and totally fits him, so, uh, and he, they keep it doing that until the the ghost let the light on and then go Homer go Homer being Luigi at the, on this point uh, go all the way back and turn off the light you know because he just make the, the movement to turn off the light but he didn't turn it off so it was basically like that and so Homer go all the way up and turn off the light and so he fell all the way down through the staircase. Ooh, five bananas. And wait. Uh, more five over here. Seems really reasonable. And I get him really tired right here. Wait, today is what? Uh, uh, 22. Uh, June 22. My flight is June. 24th so you can tell that I'm kind of hyped for the trip you know, I said that I won't comment about it but you know I can resist when you're close to a flight or close to going to a trip you're going to talk about it no matter how hard you try to keep it you know pipe down on that you won't do that you just go like ape shit you know. so <laughs> those dogs are I'm dying like flies, so oh, I have to open my mouth. Okay, now we're going down. Thank you. And good night. Ah, hip cut. 
Yeah, it does happen when you eat a pizza by yourself. Yeah. Then again, the the pizzas here in Brazil are are really thin. They are not like the pizzas on the U.S. That they are really fatty. Anyway, the pizzas on the U.S. are fatty. You can see a relation to the people. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> you know that's what happens when you run out of commentary. You just start to think on other stuff and uh, saying stuff that you actually not usually say. Yeah, it's basically like that. So without further ado, here it is. She racks it too. I don't know why I did that code for prompt for John Tron. No. Pronto John, I, I'm sweeted to John's here. <laughs> anyway. There is a time that I don't watch anything from him. Uh, the last time that I watched something from him was that the thing of uh, Banjo to Banjo to Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Boats. The game feels really odd. Actually. They have good visuals but it doesn't feel like Banjo Kazooie. It feels really odd. It feels like Benjo made Lego, you know, the Lego games, you know. <laughs> anyway, feels like it. Uh, I sorry for like Benjo Tui, but Benjo Tui, ah, uh, sorry, Benjo Boats and Notes, but that's feel that feels really odd. Um, I believe Grunts' Revenge on the GB feel way better than than that thing that they the hardware did there. No, hardware was a great company back here. Right until when I was back on this game was developed. You know. it was a great company. Today it's just like a minor company, you know. They got after being greedy, you know, uh, for letting themselves get bought by the by Microsoft. You know, not say that they deserve because they were they were a great company, but I mean after uh, you throw off like years of uh, of a relationship on the trash just because of more money you're doing the worst thing of your life that I can tell no. you know if I had if I work a development and I already have a relationship with um, with a company you know if I basically was like hardware was with Nintendo I wouldn't throw that away. I, mean, I could do, uh, I could do Donkey Kong game. I could do Honker games that people want so bad. You know, you no, know, they don't want the remaster of Conquer. You know. Although that the ability to kill enemies was a kind of good idea, it takes the the consistency of the game. You know. You know, because it's a remaster, it's not a remake. Because if it were a remake, uh, you probably won't be able to kill anyone, just like the last time. I believe this time around, he's with, he's not with a fry pan, he's with a bat. So yeah, right. That's not conquer that I know. Anyway. Uh, I know, I know that I'm not talking nothing about the game that we're playing right now. That feels a little odd to get of it, but you know, it's a collect, uh, find it collect game. So there's really not, uh, there's not too much plot to talk about. You know, it's not like a RPG or a Zelda game that you can theorize and talk about something that passed. Alright, I don't know, like, probably I yeah, will totally comment on when I back for Twilight Princess. I probably comment a lot about A Korean of Time, Wind Waker, you know, Phantom Hourglass, uh, Majora's Mask, you know, those four games that I did already for the Zelda series. You know, because sometimes I try to hold back for you, don't spoil anything and you start sc sc screwing yourself up. So, anyway. Uh, I'll be stopping here because I just watched the time, so if you liked this episode, please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.